Well, you know it's the hurricane season, you also know it's the wet season, uh, but in between that, we do, to, do tend to get some brighter skies, and the skies have brightened following that active tropical wave. But it is now over the Leeward Islands, heading towards uh, Puerto Rico, bringing some rather heavy weather there. But at least uh, for now, the Atlantic is uh, quiet. Here we pick up that active tropical wave, swinging its way into the northern Leeward Islands, set to bring some showers still for Puerto Rico, and eventually pushing out towards the Dominican Republic as we go through the next few days. And obviously it will leave most of over the southern caribbean under mostly brighter skies that doesn't mean that we won't still see a couple of showers from time to time but most of the showers should be pretty brief across trinidad and tobago as we go through friday and then we'll get yet another tropical wave set to make inroads by late on saturday and going into a sunday so we'll see then that's uh, the tropical wave there that long line of cloud but it is surrounded by a lot of saharan dust just above it and it's also getting pulled in to this tropical wave so basically as that tropical wave makes its inroads across the eastern caribbean by the time we get to saturday and a sunday it will be a mixture of haze as well as some cloudiness and some showers. So most of the showers should not be on the heavy side. should mostly be some moderate showers coming out of that system. But still, regardless, we'll still see some cloudiness as we go through the weekend. So for many areas across Tobago then, look for some brightness for many of you through Paratovie, Castara and down towards Scarborough. Occasional showers are still possible also favoring of the hillsides but overall it should be a mostly fair day across Tobago. Meanwhile for Trinidad look for the skies to be mostly settled overnight. A couple of late night showers are possible across the hillsides Northern Range, Maracas, Lopino etc. Mostly localized showers and as we go into Friday morning as well a couple of those local showers just popping up around the Lopino out towards Diego Martin, Port of Spain around St. Anne's and so on. So the hilly parts of the country may still see a couple of showers coming through but overall you should see lots of brightness for many areas from central down towards southern Trinidad. It will feel warmer than it has done. 33 is likely in Friday for Trinidad, 31 degrees Celsius in Tobago. Now through Saturday and the Sunday, Tobago will see that cloudiness and the added moisture bringing some showers there as well and then eventually clearing as you get towards Monday. And for similarly for Trinidad, look for the tropical wave to bring the cloudiness. As I said, there is some Saharan dust in there as well, so we can't get away from the showers, but most of the showers should be on the moderate side. Now for mariners, you'll be noticing mostly settled seas under 2 meters for the most part. Across the Caribbean, unfortunately, out towards the Leeward Islands, they have been seeing quite a few of those uh, heavier showers. You can just see it here. Quite an active uh, tropical wave. It's not set to develop as it gets towards the Dominican Republic, but it will be a rainmaker for the most part. So they are watching out for street or flash flooding for Santo Domingo, many parts of the Dominican Republic, especially across the hillsides, and then into Haiti as well. There's also a possibility of uh, some street or flash flooding there. So we'll pick up in Havana, where it's just a 32 degrees Celsius expected on a Friday, similarly for Kingston, but Jamaica will see those showers coming in later on through Friday and eventually going through into Saturday morning. Similarly, for Leeward Islands, you'll be noticing a few clouds first thing in the morning. The showers eventually begin to fade away as you go through the day, but the brightness should take hold for many parts of Dominica into St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent, and Grenada. Down towards Georgetown in Guyana, we'll still be seeing a few showers from time to time, but those also should be clearing as you go through the day. So that's your weather, and that's it from me.